Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cleaning video. This is going to be a deep clean of my living room. I'm going to spend a couple of hours in here and just give it a little bit more attention. It's a Sunday, I am in a really comfy hoodie, leggings, I've got my cosy socks on so I'm just going to spend the afternoon cleaning and make the most of it. I've got my Zoflora, my microfiber and we are going to get started. So as always, I'm starting at the top and working my way down. I'm just going to take off all these picture frames and I'm going to give this a really good dust and I'm going to polish up these frames as well because I've not done that in a long time. There's thick dust on here so it really does need a good clean. I think traditionally people used to dust with just a dry cloth but when I do I always use some kind of a spray just to stick all the dust together. I think dry dusting just puts everything up in the air and an hour or so later everything's dusty again. So now I'm just polishing up these frames using windowline and some kitchen roll just because I had it there. I do prefer using kitchen roll to microfiber cloths when you are doing glass. I just think there's a better result with it but I try to use microfibers when I can. Um, if you want to see an in-depth tour of my living room I did a video not so long ago so I'll leave that linked below. So that is the shelf all clean and dust free. I'm going to be doing the clockwise method in this room but as always I'm going anti-clockwise. I don't know why that is just my automatic thing. But the next thing I'm moving on to is these windows. Again just using the window lean and kitchen roll and polishing up all the little ornaments that I've got. So next up is the job that I like the least. I'm going to be taking apart this couch, plumping up all the cushions, hoovering it, getting rid of all the little crumbs and everything else that has been put on this couch over the last few months. It really needs a good deep clean. So I'm just starting by taking the whole thing apart and flinging it into a big pile in the middle of the room. So if I'm totally honest, it has been probably about two months since I took this couch apart and hoovered it properly. I definitely don't get to deep clean it as much as I used to. And under here, there's a build up of crumbs and dust and a couple of pairs of socks under there too. So I'm just using the Dyson and I'm just gonna vacuum everything up. I'm gonna make sure that I get under all the little grooves so that there's nothing left. So I don't have to do this for a long time after this. Let me know in the comments what your least favourite cleaning job is. Mine is definitely the couch and doing this bit here, but in the house it would probably also be taking the bins out, so I try and make that Andy's job. So now that I've hoovered the couch, I am just putting all the cushions back together. I'm going to give them all a quick hoover and plump them up before I put it back together. I think with a couch like this, it's really important that you do this quite regularly. You don't want to end up with a big dent if it's somewhere that's sat on more often than others. For example, this bit that I'm doing just now is where most people would sit on the couch because it's right in front of the television. So if I didn't switch these cushions around quite regularly, then we probably would have a noticeable dent there where more people are sitting. So. Every time I do this, I always make sure that I switch the cushions about from side to side just to avoid that happening and make the couch last a bit longer. Mm -hmm. 
I know this doesn't look like such a big job when it's sped up but it really does take so long to do each individual cushion and to take it apart and put it all back together so yeah this is why the job is not a favourite of mine. So to keep the couch clean I'm just going to use this Vanish carpet cleaner, it's a really gentle formula and I feel safe using this on the couch, it doesn't change the colour or anything like that, I just mix it with some warm water and use a microfiber just to go around each cushion and take away any little marks that Oliver might have left on it. I definitely didn't consider how much hard work a fabric sofa would be having two kids but to be honest I love it, it's such a comfy sofa. I'll leave the details of it below because I'm quite often asked where this is from. So when I'm deep cleaning I always make sure to do a bit of a declutter as well, especially in the living room because all of Oliver's toys are down here and he changes what he likes very very often. So I'm just going through his little toy box, taking away all the stuff that he doesn't use anymore and putting it upstairs, he's got a toy box upstairs as well um, and just making sure everything will fit in this. I don't think it makes sense to have any more toys than what can fit in this toy box because he can only play with one thing at a time. And now that is all sorted, I'm just covering it up with a blanket just to hide all the clutter and just make it look a bit neater. And then I'm going to move on to Marcus's playmat. I'm just going to take this apart, fling it in the washing machine and get it nice and clean for him too. And now I'm just moving on to the fireplace. We actually don't use this a lot. So all I'm doing is just giving it a wipe down with a wet microfiber. I don't really like to use any products around this just because I worry about them being flammable and if we do end up using it it would just freak me out a little bit so I'm just wiping it down to get rid of any dust and any marks and then I'm just going to restack all the stones and the wood just to make it look a bit neater because Oliver does sometimes pick these up. I've actually had to remove the smaller stones that are supposed to cover the grate because he kept touching them and I was worried he was going to put them, put them in his mouth so we have not really got the fireplace looking how it's supposed to look at the moment but it'll be like that for a couple of years I think. So now I'm just doing a spot clean of Marcus's high chair, I'm just using the same vanish solution and a microfiber and just cleaning up any little marks and I'm also just going over it with the hoover. So you might notice that our living room looks a little bare in this clip and that's because the rug is missing. We put it upstairs when we were potty training all of our last week just to avoid any accidents and I have just not got round to bringing it downstairs. So I'm going to do that here, that's why I'm giving this a really good hoover because it'll be a while until it's hoovered again and then I am just bringing the rug down. And I'm going to give this a bit of a clean while I'm at it. So I'm flipping the rug upside down, shaking it out to loosen anything that the hoover hasn't picked up before. And as you can see, there's quite a lot that's come out of this. It's pretty disgusting actually. So I'm going to use a hoover, pick up all that dust, and then I'm going to relay the rug. I've actually flipped this round so that it's now got the opposite part underneath the couch, um, just so that the whole thing ages evenly, I suppose, and doesn't discolour. Um, but as you can see, it does need to flatten out over the next few days because it's been rolled up under there for so long. And then I'm finishing that off with another hoover. This is on max setting, so hopefully I've picked up everything that's stuck in this rug. So now I'm just going around all the skirtings and cleaning these. I'm just using a microfiber and I'm actually using a mix of fabric softener and water which I didn't show here for some reason um, but this is a Mrs Hinge hack and I've been using this ever since I started watching her and I really enjoy it, it makes the house smell really really nice and it doesn't damage any of the paintwork which is important. 
So at this point I decided to try and flatten out the rug by using this wooden table which I still need to set up for outside. So I've just put this over part of the rug and hopefully that will weigh it down a bit and flatten out because it was annoying me and it still is. I've had to move that table over a little bit since filming this video. And that is the main part of the living room, all clean and tidy. I feel like it makes such a difference to do a deep clean when you know that there's not loads of dust lurking in there. The couch looks a bit plumper, it just feels fresher. It's annoying that that rug isn't perfect yet, but it was a couple hours later, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> so now we're just going to move over to this side of the living room. I've got the patio door open to let in some fresh air. And it isn't actually that bad over here, it's just a wee bit of mess from cleaning the other side. But I am going to try and declutter this set of drawers here. As you can see, it is full to the brim. So it was at this point I realised that part of this furniture was peeling and look at my face. I have had this furniture for five years and never realised there was a protective film over the top that should have been taken off when we first bought it. Please tell me I'm not the only person that's done this. Anyway, so now that that's done, I'm just continuing to sort through these drawers and putting everything back where it should be. There's not actually much clutter in here, just that little pile by my feet of stuff that needs to go upstairs, but everything else just needs a bit of a tidy. And then I'm just wiping this all down with more Zeflora on my microfiber and just getting rid of any dust, polishing up these frames and just laying everything out so it's nice and tidy. Look at Marcus being a little angel and playing with his wee toy in his high chair. So now the dining table is cleared, I'm just going to give it a wipe down with the flora. I'm also going to clean these plastic chairs. These are really, really easy to keep clean. Um, obviously, if you've got kids, that is a bonus. And I'm just going to wipe down Oliver's high chair as well. And then it's a quick clean of the windows with a window lane and kitchen roll. These are the windows that always end up covered in handprints and bolognese and god knows what else. When I do the floor I always like to go over it with a brush first and pick up any bits of food or anything around the dining area and then I will go in with my hoover and I just feel like this is a double clean and it just makes it a bit of a better result. I'm just doing this little area over here. How satisfying is it that this hoover fits in that little table perfectly? Is it just me? <laughs> so the very last job is just to do the floor. I'm just going to use my Flash Multi-Surface Spray. This was another Mrs Hinge recommendation and it smells really nice and gets the floor really clean. This is also a new spray mop that I got because my last one was leaking and I really really like it. I think it was from Home Bargains. If I can find the brand online I will link it below for you but I definitely prefer this one to my last spray mop. If you saw my most recent cleaning video, I'm obsessed with this Febreze air freshener just now. It's the Fruity Tropic scent and it smells so so nice and clean. So I love to finish off with a spray of this. So this is the end result. I'm so happy with it. I really hope you enjoyed watching a deep clean and a bit of a declutter. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what other cleaning videos you'd like to see in future. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these over the next few weeks. Hit subscribe before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!